I love this feeling. I love this feeling right here. This is it. I feel more alive than ever at these moments. Can we do this? Man. Now who needs shoes? Mom, let's go. I gave it everything I had that last mile. Remember, it's about longevity. It's a marathon. I'll see you at the finish line. All right, here we go. It's game time, baby. Call my brother, see if he answers. Wait, real quick, isn't the narrative that you've never seen your brother? Yeah, well, I needed a quick big title. You can't just post another marathon video. Why would anybody watch it? Like, they get it, you did it already. It's more of me finally building a relationship with my brother because uh, we never liked each other. We didn't talk for like 10 years and now we rebonded over running. And now he's calling me back right now. And I'm gonna invite him, fly out to LA and do the marathon with me together. So weird. Steve, my bad, I was running. Oh, that's right. Next Sunday is the LA Marathon. Uh, Would you want to fly out here if I got you like set up to run with me and pace me like throughout the race and I'll sign you up? Uh, I don't know if I can run a marathon right now. You've been running 20 miles at a seven minute pace. I need somebody that understands me and can calm me down and keep me running at the right pace. And who better than somebody that I shared DNA with? We're literally the closest to each other on the planet. I understand if you can't do it, you have kids, you got responsibilities, you got a job, just flying out here for a marathon might be ridiculous to do. You might have to get it approved, but I think it could be pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, I'd like to do it. That, that sounds awesome. I want to run faster than what the kid Cody Co. did last time. I want to show Brooks that I deserve the, this sponsorship. What do you have to do? Just under 350. Okay. All right, Steve, let me know. I'll see you in a week. All right. Bye. Bye. Awkward, huh? So this is our fake marathon shoot. This is supposed to make it look like I trained a lot for this. That's what we're filming right now for the Brooks people. I was not doing jujitsu for the past six months. What's this? Can I see if I still got it? Are we gonna jump over it? You gonna grab the rim? Let's see. You think I can? I don't think you can. I think you're too old for it. <laughs> still got it, 34, F you. See him? He was laying flat wearing the same color outfit as the f***ing concrete and then he hopped up out of nowhere all cracked out and f***ing just jumped right into me and tripped me. My muscle spasming out right now. It's like twitching out my knee and I'm three days away from this race. If I wasn't wearing Brooks, I probably would have torn my ACL, MCL, meniscus, everything. My entire knee would have been blown out. Before we start, I want to say why we're back here because we did a marathon already. Why are we doing it again? First of all, that's why we're back. But before that, this is why we're back. I know, it might not make much sense now, but this all started from my stoner editor who edited the last marathon video, and now he thinks he could do this on his own. He's 23 years old, he's right behind the camera right now, and I signed up because I figured I would just run with him and make fun of him the whole time and not really try to get a good time. After I signed up, Brooks stepped in. They said, hey, Cody Co, the guy we sponsored last time, he's not running anymore and we love you, Jeff. So thank you, Brooks, shout out to you. But I got another thing up my sleeve that will hopefully help me shave some more time off. And that is some brotherly competition. I got New York done. I did LA back in 2016. There was no, no urge for me to run another marathon at all at this point in my life. I've been training jujitsu again. I've been doing boxing. I've been doing MMA. I've been loving it. I do a four mile run every day up Runyon. That's enough for me. I think marathons are dumb but my brother is an ultra marathon runner and I wanna show him some footage right now that I think is the reason why he became an ultra marathon runner. I'm nervous to show him. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna get in a fight right in here. This is my brother, Steve, for the first time ever. I don't think I've ever mentioned that you exist to the people that have watched. This is Cody, he's also like a brother, but thank God he's not my real brother, because then I would also have probably a lot of the same mental illnesses that he has. But um, we got a bunch of childhood footage from our parents that I want to review here, because I feel like this has played a big part in how our lives played out. Here comes the trauma. Yeah. Childhood, yeah. Look, that's my dad. He looks like you right there. Yeah. Looks like you. We all ran a one mile race. I was probably like eight here. See, this is back in the day before Strava, where if you wanted to be the local legend, you had to show up on the same day and beat everybody. Exactly. You know who that is right there? 
pushing it. Stay in line as you finish. Bobby, you should have 29 of them now. This is the same pace we're going to keep tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. 708. Se yeah, 7.08 at eight years old. You there, beat me. There is you. You came in about 10 seconds after me when you were 12 and I was eight. <laughs> I think this is where you went crazy. I gave up running after that. I, I'm going to show you in a second the moment that you did. This is probably why we didn't get along for about 10 years. <laughs> this moment right here that's coming up. It's I analyzed this footage the other night. Our parents? No, look. Look at what he does. Look. Look at him. What time were you, Steve? Look. And you just put your head down and walked off. And then we never talked for 10 years after that. For five second difference. Yeah, there's something wrong with us. I probably got locked up in a room for that, for, for losing. Yeah, you, we probably both got beat for that. It was legal to beat your kids back then. <laughs> we hated this. We wanted to go and play with our friends at the time. Like, yeah, we, I wasn't into running back then. I was never really into running. I don't even want to do this marathon now if it wasn't for Kyle signing up because I inspired him. And then Brooks came into the game. They sponsored the right guy this time. Evil Cody. Yeah. And me and my brother Steve. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be. Do you have Brooks too? Yeah. Nice. There we go. Just look, tomorrow it's going down. Anything can happen race day. I could wake up feeling great and I could run a 3:30. We'll see. Or I could wake up feeling horrible, like I did today, and I could run four hours again. But that, you're not gonna let that happen. No, I'm not gonna let it happen. That's right. And I'm not turning around and coming back to you. We're gonna push. We're no gonna push stopping. I wish people cared about running 5Ks and 10Ks, but people only care about marathons. So we're doing another one. We're gonna beat everybody. And I think it'll be a successful day as long as Kyle doesn't die. I can't believe I'm doing this This is dumb, but we're doing it again. And this time I'm doing it with my brother. So he's already downstairs. He was up before me, nervous. I sent everybody the eight mile soundtrack this morning just to let them know, you know, you only get one shot at this. Uh, is Kyle here? Is he yeah. back out? Yeah, he's downstairs. You are the relatable character. You're the person at home watching, saying, oh, I want to sign up for a marathon one day, but I don't know if I should. Maybe I should get in shape first. Don't worry, you don't have to. Don't get in shape first, <laughs> just do it. You're a hater, that's what you are. If you were going on the moon, I'd support you. Yeah, but well, you could just yeah, prove I'm me wrong. Yeah, prove me wrong right now. Now's your chance. I love this feeling right here. This is it. I feel more alive than ever at these moments. So, three miles in, 22 minutes so far. We're cruising. Might be a PR day. Might accidentally run sub 3.30. I got my brother pacing me. He's like, slow down, slow down. You're an idiot, slow down. But I can't let him pass me. I'm, I got a problem. Go check on Kyle. See if he's still alive. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Boom. How's it going? Uh, 4.1 miles in, cruising. I'm probably gonna be smoked the next time you see me. I'm gonna finish this. Men mile three. I feel good. Body feels warm. We're in downtown LA. Look at Brooks. Thank you, Brooks. I'll see you at the finish line. All right, that's five. Feeling good, but anything can happen. Stick to the game plan. We're going at a seven minute pace right now. <laughs> it's because I'm filming. I know that I gotta look like I'm running hard. The maniacs are out. <laughs> My man. Now who needs shoes? My man's got the Sacconis on. Sacconis nuts. <laughs> no friends in this game. We're at mile six. If it wasn't for this Brooks uniform, I wouldn't even make it to this mile. Ah! 6.1 miles. I feel like shit. 20 more miles to go. Almost halfway. Normally I'd be trying to race everybody. But it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. The race is about to start in two miles when we hit the halfway point. Everything up to this point was a warm up. Best dog in the deck! Number one right there! Alright, I lost my brother on a hill. That song shipping up to Boston came on in the AirPods randomly. I just felt like I was in the departed. I just took off. I saw that fucking rap pizzeria. We passed it. Pissed me off. I'm fueled by revenge. Yeah! I'm fueled by revenge! Stop, stop How the f did Kyle pass you? What? Kyle pass you. 
Kyle? Yeah. Look, let me tell you something about marathons. This is my eighth one. Marathons are based on endurance, right? It's consistency, staying with it. I'm not even at the halfway mark yet. So imagine I still gotta do that again. So when they get to those miles up there, they're gonna be gas. They're gonna be looking for energy. When I reserved my energy. And that's when I go right by them when they're running or walking 15 minute miles. 13 and a half miles in, pace is sloppy, heart rate's crazy, knees bitching. But I'm gonna finish this. We're cruising. We're only two and a half hours in. I feel bad, my brother. I was making him go too fast. How far ahead is he? Like five to ten minutes. Oh boy. Yeah, he outpaced me. I'm dehydrated now. I'm gonna beat him again. And the whole video is not gonna be wholesome. <laughs> Let's go, Kyle. Oh wait, that's not him. No way! Cody goes here! We're crushing Cody! I got you guys, see too! I'm gonna leave you guys! I'm tired, I'm doing Boston next month! But y'all can do it right now! Good job, happy St. Patrick's Day! Hey, it's Dev Brody. Your time is set in stone forever. The pain you'll forget. It all paid off. I took 25 minutes off my last time. 329. Fucking hell. I gave it everything I had that last mile. I can't believe it's 759 pace the whole way. Kyle! Yeah! 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 I can't fucking believe this. Put that middle finger down. I'm on your side. You're, you're fucking killing it. What does he have left? Eight miles? You got heart, kid. I'm proud of you. you made it this far. You're going to finish. Now I gotta call my mom. <laughs> hey, Dad. Hey, Jeff. Where's your brother? He's right next to me. He made it. I got him again, Dad. <laughs> I get the belt now. Yeah, yeah. Beat him up with a sack of onions. Maybe that'll make him run faster. We did it, old man. <laughs> now I'm terrified about what's gonna come from this. What you're gonna go home and do? <laughs> you're gonna make me run 10 more marathons, and we're just gonna have a rivalry for life. You know when you land back in Newark, Dennis is gonna be walking you again, right? Well, you know, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You know, you know the talk that's coming from him, right? This was a good bonding trip, right? For the first 18 miles, at least. I never want to do another one of these again, but I know now you're gonna make me do another one. Oh my god, why am I back in it? <laughs> We're back in it! Kyle! <laughs> 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 you did it, Kyle! You're a marathon runner. Fucking huge! You're gonna fucking blood dope and cheat yourself? Bro, you know they don't test. I don't care. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get away with it. I'm gonna do it.